Facebook Messenger is an intimate space where people communicate with their family and friends, and as a business, you want to respect that. In other words, you want to make sure that you're sending messages to people who want to hear from you, and you also give them an easy opportunity at any time to unsubscribe. And not only is this good for the user, but it's also your responsibility as a page because if you're continuously spamming users, not only is that creating a poor experience and a poor image with your brand, but Facebook can actually go so far as to revoke your page's messaging privileges. So clearly this is something you want to avoid, and that's what I'll be talking about in this lesson about managing user subscriptions. So in the welcome message, although this isn't required, it is best practice, one of the things you should do is asking the user if they want to receive future updates from you in the terms of broadcast messages. So to do that, we can say, would you like to receive future updates from this page? then we can give them the ability to subscribe or opt out using quick replies. So we'll say either yes please or no thanks. Okay, and then we'll assign an attribute to the user's preference so that we can prevent them from receiving future updates and filter them out. So I'm gonna click the user attribute button here and say, call this subscribed. So then we know based on their choice, they're either subscribing or they're choosing not to do so. So how do we actually make use of this? Well, let's go into the broadcast tab for a second, which I'll explain more in depth in a later lesson, but let's go into the broadcast tab and we have the option here to deliver our message now or schedule it for a later time. Let's just say we wanna send out a message now. And so what we can then do is in the filter box here, we can select the attribute for subscribed. So we'll type in subscribed. It hasn't populated because we haven't gone through the bot. Nobody has set that attribute as a user yet. So if the attribute subscribed is yes, please, only then are we going to send a message. In other words, we're gonna filter out all those people who didn't choose to opt in. Now, the question is, well, what happens if somebody wants to unsubscribe? They subscribed at first, but now they unsubscribed. So there's a couple ways to do this. One is in each broadcast message that we send, I'll say this is a test broadcast. We always wanna give users the ability to easily unsubscribe. One way to do that is again, using a quick reply. So we can say unsubscribe here and we can send them to a block that says unsubscribe for example so we connect this quick reply to a block that says unsubscribe. We go there and then on this block, we could say something like you've successfully unsubscribed. We can also set an attribute that changes the value from yes please to no thanks. So if we could type in subscribed, we can then change this value to no thanks. So if somebody is subscribed, they receive that broadcast, that's great. But then if they click unsubscribe, it's now changing the value here so in the future, when we send a broadcast, they're gonna be excluded from that group because the value of that subscribed attribute has changed. A couple other ways to do this. One is in the configure tab. So if I go here and under the persistent menu, the persistent menu is a menu that is always accessible to the user. So if I go to test this bot, for example, I don't have a persistent menu right now, but I would see it as this kind of hamburger style icon right here in blue. And I would have the ability to click that at any time to see a menu of the main functions in the bot. So for example, I could add an unsubscribe option here, link that to the unsubscribe block. So then at any point, people can just click that and easily opt out without having to go through all these buttons and menus in the bot. So that's another key way to allow people to unsubscribe. And you might be asking, well, you know, why should I make it so accessible for people to opt out? The reality is at the end of the day, you want to make it easy so that you can not waste your time on these unqualified leads, right? You want to make it so that only the people who have enough motivation to talk to your page are doing that. And then one other final option here in terms of managing subscriptions, you can also set up a rule in the AI tab. So I'm gonna delete this previous rule that I have set up here just to avoid any confusion. And we can add an, a rule called you know, unsubscribe, stop messages. 
any number of the four letter words that people might be sending you if you're spamming them. And then as you could guess, we're gonna connect this to the unsubscribe block. So that is how subscription messaging works in a nutshell. The key takeaway is always make it easy for people to unsubscribe and make it hard for them to subscribe. Explicitly ask them in the welcome message or at least in the first couple of messages you send because you don't wanna be sending people messages if they don't care about you enough to respond and engage. So we'll talk about other sorts of subscription tactics and broadcasting rules in the next couple lessons, so stay tuned for that.